Hi everyone. How's everyone today? I haven't been on Facebook to do readings in forever, but thought I'd try something new. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a new moon message for all the signs, starting with Aries. Um, I'm going to use my um, energy oracle cards. These are beautiful cards. I'm going to pick one card from the Oracle message and then one card from the Moonology deck. So a moon message and an energy message. The energy might tell you who, you, what energy you are feeling right now, what energy surrounds you, or any of the above, or any of the other. All right, we're going to start with the energy messages, and we're going to start with Aries. Aries all the way to Pisces. God bless everybody. Hope everybody's having a good day. It's beautiful today. It's nice and the rain started a little bit. It was so hot for the last couple of days. But the rain has stopped, started a little bit today and I was hoping for some rain. But it's just like misty rain. It was nice. I was, I was sitting out there for a minute while my doggy went and did her business. Anyways, let's get to the reading. We'll start with Aries. One card for Aries, please. God, universe, spirit, gods of our highest good, all involved. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, we got a message for Aries. All right. Let's get the moon message for Aries. One moon message for Aries. And later, I, we can timestamp them so everybody can go... Rewatch their reading um, if they would like. Um, all signs, we all have different times where we need to hear the message. So they will resonate for different people at different times. I don't know why I'm still shuffling. All right, we got the cards up for Aries. So don't. Uh, so overall message for Aries is don't let your past hold you back. Like, don't let past stagnancy, like, you know, feeling like, you know, like being too much in your comfort zone. Don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone a little bit, you know. Um, yeah, you may feel a little bit like, like envy, like, you know, uh, like this person is feeling like they don't, uh, they feel like they're not good enough, but you are because the next card after that was uh, soulmate card. So we're not going to read all those cards, but we're going to start with the card that you did get, which is the door to romance. So we're going to read this card, and we're going to also read the next card that you got from the moon cards. You got um, new moon in Cancer, which is the next moon, the next new moon. Right now we are in Gemini new moon. So next new moon is Cancer new moon, right? So you and your loved ones are safe in the, in the Cancer moon, okay? So if you were worried about loved ones or that, you know, your friends or family, um, they are safe. So let's see. Door to romance. I gotta mark these cards better or these books better because I like to read them out of the book when I'm doing just the cards. So the door to romance, right? So open the door to romance. Be in your loving energy. Or I'd say new beginnings and love. So whenever you're looking for a new relationship or just more love in your in your relationship you're in, this door this door with the heart open into a new beginning in new experiences new love like a new way of loving or a new uh, or a new arrival and you are being brought together by a strong resonant connection this may be called from the past life or it may be a new tenderness about to bloom into your heart filled um, affection this 
in a relationship already or if this relationship already exists energetically potentially or so that when this card appears is your spread and your spread make make sure you are projecting the kind of self-loving energy that you that will bring more love into your experiences remember to make yourself and your own happiness a priority encourage yourself and always acknowledge that how valuable and deserving you are to receive your own love and that is and of others such choices in your attitude and self treatment will shift any old energy of self dismissal changing it your cross so basically it's going to change it you know like it's going to bring to you what you the universe will always bring what you put out you know so when you when you treat yourself good the universe will treat you good you know what i mean so like that type of people will come into your life the type of people that how you love them is how they're going to love you, you know? So, yeah, there's a big message there. The door to romance. And it's a beautiful card. So, like, don't be afraid to communicate what you what you want and love. See, the threes represent communication, too, right? And you got double threes. So, Aries, you know? So, new moon in Cancer. All right, so we'll read the overall message for this card. There is a new start coming in your, there's a new start coming in your private life. Something is rising up from the, from a connection with, up with people and places you hold dearest. This can be due to with a member of your family a flatmate like a roommate or a moving house if you're hoping to move forward with something special in your private life this card comes to you as a message that you can do it if you have been neglecting your family it's time to reconnect with them if you've been neglecting yourself, you need to take better care of yourself and numerous and nurture yourself more. If your insecurity is holding you back, that is something for you to work on now. Don't doing so could bring you your heart your heart's desire. There's a lot more to that message, but that's as far as we're going to go today because we don't want to be here all day. And these messages do take a bit of time. <clears throat> so uh, there's Aries. Next, we we're going to be doing Taurus. Taurus is our next. Any Taurus is watching? God, the universe, spirit, God, the highest good. What message? Will Tauruses need to hear from their energy deck? Ooh, it flipped over. Oh, Angel of Love. Beautiful card you got. Angel of Love. Four, nine. Fours are about um, stability. They're about, um, you know, um, meditating, communicate. Um, I don't know why. It's, nines are about, like, almost completing, almost getting there, you know. Oh, and you got the bottom of the deck, the card I just read for Aries. Look at that. You got, you know, open the door to romance. And it's time to choose because this card fell down and it's time to make a choice. Little Red Riding Hood. All right, that's the message Taurus is need to hear that they need to make a decision in their life. And choose love no matter what. All right, let's see what main message we got for Taurus. Summer Resident Venus. Wow, that was quick. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Let's read these cards for Taurus. And your overall message in the bottom is 
confidence is your key to success. Confidence is your key to success. Remember that, Tauruses. Angel of love. Let's find the angel of love card. 49. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. For Tauruses. All right. Let's try to hold it up while I read. Uh, so this beautiful angel of love is a tender connection. This beautiful angel comes with a rose and with a rose in her hair and a rose-colored wings. She holds a rose quartz heart, radiating tenderness and loving vibration, bringing you, bringing you compassion and affection if you're if you're looking for a new love this angel brings a message of this upcoming approach or if you if you're longing for a deeper more intimate connection with someone already in your life she she or just can be sure he depending on your gender that uh she she here to say that to say that far tender far greater tenderness is available to you either way remember that your first intentions for tenderness must be directed inwards and the compassion that you demonstrate towards other towards yourself will reflect the energy to the potential of these events in significant ways the angel of love is smiling on your uh, on you and for and forging a connection in the energetic or in, in the energetic realm wow that's a beautiful card that's a beautiful message all right so you are good enough Bowman and Virgo. All right, let's read this card. So this is the card for Tauruses. You are good enough, full moon in Virgo. It is time to be really honest with yourself and understand what leads you to to ask your questions. Have you been humble to the point of being self-affecting humanly? is good but humanity is good but it can go too far and drawing this card can card suggest that you may be un underrating yourself you don't have to be a flash you don't have to be a flash just just quietly center that you are Quietly certain that you are good enough at the other end of the scale. You also need to be honest to honestly answer the question: Have you been too picky? The full moon in Virgo card needs some uh, truthful answers. Once you've given given them, it should be easier to see how how to go where you are where you where you are no once it'll be easier to see how you got where you are you are next step should then be more obvious to pay attention to the details hard work hard work brings results So the full moon in Virgo is is a time to declutter your life, your home, and your in your office. It is time to sort what's good in your life from what is not serving you. 
It's also time to clear out en energies via salt baths in meditation and protecting, practicing getting more grounded by walking barefoot no matter when you are drawn this card it is a reminder that it is at that time at any time is a good time to start living a healthier life at any time is a good time wow these are a lot of messages all right next we got gemini it's my birthday tomorrow guys i'm a gemini so we are on gemini's next <clears throat> Like my background, like the beach. All right, let's go to Gemini's. Gemini's. What do we got for Gemini's? What do we got for Gemini's? All right, the world card is overall energy is endings and new beginnings is the world card and anything is possible. And appreciation, you got Gemini's, you got appreciation. And ones are also about um, manifesting new starts. Fives are about changes. So there we go. Let's see what, see what we got for the moon cards for Gemini's. Gemini's, Summon, Rising, and Venus. And happy birthday to all the Gemini's out there and all the Tauruses that just had a birthday. All right, for Gemini's, Summon, Rising, and Venus, one card, please. Well, we got two cards, so we're just going to be bold and make the first move. Believe in the believe in the impossible. Ooh. Oh, the blue moon. All right, so we're going to read. We're going to read, be bold and make the first move. And then believe in the impossible, Gemini's. All right, we're going to read appreciation first. All right, we got appreciation. Appreciation for what you have in your life already. You are, it looks like this lady, she is, she appreciates what she has. So I'm not going to, maybe I will, as long as I can hold up the cards. Choosing gratitude. This card shows a woman holding a, um, a signal rose. She enjoys the scent of the beauty of one of the of the single bloom, yet around and behind her are marvelous bushes. She could be focusing on on these worries that focusing on these uh, these worry this worry that she might get caught up in the in their prickly bushes of the difficulties instead she pauses to experience the blossom of this single flower the one the sun is breathing uh, breathing through the clouds shining on her shining on her choice and on the on the tiny bu buds waiting to be open and this card upright is telling you that you have and you have a much to be grateful for and like the flowering bush behind the woman on the card there is more to come that you can't yet see gratitude oh congratulate yourself for everything every moment for every moment that you've chosen to appreciate this decision shifts your uh, conclusions from lack to value and it and gratitude to bring more were the more enrichedness of your life I need a sip of my coffee. I'm not getting any chats. I don't know. 
I don't know why it's not. I don't know. So be bold and make the first move, Gemini's. The Cardinal Moon. <clears throat> The cardinal moons are right at the end, I think. Nope. Oh, that makes sense. Where are they? Okay, so I have to look it up. Cardinal moon. Where is the cardinal moon? Uh, I should start making videos. Then I can, uh, you know, take out these times and I'm trying to find a card. <laughs> I'm learning how to edit videos. So, okay, so the cardinal moons are... Cardinal moon. Or there's only one cardinal moon. Where is it? Oh. All right, there's a big pause. Cardinal Moon. Okay, that would be 104. Wow, that took long enough. Wow. 104. Gemini's a little slow today. All right. So this is like right now the moon is around that time, I think. Be bold and make the first move. The Cardinal Moon. Now is the time to be bold. Bossy even. Take matters into your own hands. Cardinal signs cardinal signs are powerful oh like cardinal like the cardinal you know birds i've seen like lately um cardinal signs are powerful and self-starting they are determined and great organize great at organizing and drawing this card <clears throat> strongly suggests that you're going to need to be all of these things to get your idea resolution and pot positions into the situation you're asking about this card may be challenging you on how strongly you really want something if you're worried about a situation it is suggested that take aggressive stance as to steer even events where you want them to go speak up for what you want if you're serious about sorting things out you may need to take the lead and some way to step up as a leader hmm Be bold and follow your heart and your emotions. Avoid recklessness or moving too fast. Come into your own power and it's time for action as of now. Beautiful card for Gemini. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Next we got Cancers. Any Cancers in the house? I don't know. I've never done it on Facebook very much. I think I've done it like once on Facebook, but this is live or this is stream here too. So. so if anybody wanted to join me in the broadcast, like on theirs would be able to. All right. For cancers, what do we got for cancer? Summer rising in Venus. Cancer, summer rising in Venus. I like my little Indian doll like there. I love my little doll. My friend Rosie gave it to me. My native doll. All tied up. Cancers, you feeling all tied up? Why? You need to work on your um, crown chakra and your heart chakra. 
And to work on your chakras, I have my chakra necklace, so you can like wear the colors that are the chakras, and or you can eat the fruit or the colors of types of fruit or be around the color that you need. All right, God, universe, spirit, God, divine, highest good for Cancer summarizing in Venus for the new moon message. All right, we got new romantic cycle begins new moon in libra that says like around october right but it, anytime you draw this card it is for you to hear it then so think of it as hearing it now so you feel all tied up you may have not communicated maybe you need to communicate to somebody that you feel like is like uh, a special connection and you feel like all tied up you know that's what i see in here because of the numbers is two and three 23 and you're feeling all tied up this is for cancers all right so let's see what this card has to say um lack of motions or sense of personal freedom so you're feeling like you're tied up this card shows uh a person tied up with uh, with vines around their wrists and body and arms and receiving this card upright represents a situation in your life where things seem to be severely stuck severely stuck a major a major drama may be going on around you stopping you from moving forward or it may be that some technical tie ties are blocking your way perhaps you're waiting for a contract to be signed or an agreement to be made whatever holds things up this restrictions may be feeling ma making you feel quite quite impressive impressive as this time it is if this cut if this isn't technically the case for you what it what's trying what's tying you up is your own personal stuff look at your life and see how you can be your own be be your own jail jailer you like you're tying yourself up and you're you could it could be mental um are are trying to tie yourself up in some emotional or in a negative habit that you're refusing to deal with if so it's time to cut the vines and make some serious changes now you need it living in yourself impose you ain't need you don't need to live in yourself impose jail any longer so free yourself from your whatever you're feeling release the stuck energy old habits and restrictions your life is opening up you are freeing you are free to choose your reality that's what i got for cancers all right let's see what we got for the moon card for cancers you are the moon too a romantic new romantic cycle starts a new moon in libra Yeah, I gotta learn what the, the moon's called. new moon in Libra. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. It's about balance too. Libra is about balance and justice in your life. So a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Give a take. Give and take could well be the answer to whatever dilemma you're asking about. Compromise may 
uh, negotiating or even renegotiating, renegotiating. When the new moon in Libra comes up, there is a restart for you, for you and for someone else. A new relationship could be beginning. If that's if that's the case, the changes are this will be a healthy and well balanced connection and anything that you do after pulling this card doing it in part of investing such as team up with someone in business or in your personal life libra Libra is the sign of relations and this card suggests that whomever is at the heart of this issue you're addressing is someone who will be open to talking things through. Avoid being selfish. It won't get you anywhere at this time. Feel more feel more Think less. Feel more. Think less. Marriage or engagement is on this card. Uh, a legal matter will go your way. Pay some attention to your appre appreciation about. Don't be all about appre appear. Oh. Pay some attention to your appearance, but don't be all about your appearance. That's what I got for Cancers. I hope that message helped Cancers. Someone rising in Venus. <clears throat> All right, next we got Leos. Any Leos in the house? Leos. Let's see. I don't know how long we can live stream on Facebook, but we'll see. Any Leos in the house? Let's see what Leos need to hear. How do you never speak as a high school for Leos and All in God? The Moon Goddess. You could be dealing with uh, cancer, but uh, you're supposed to be working on your speech, like your uh, throat chakra, like to be able to speak up your mind, you know, speak your mind. And then you got the moon goddess, card number 52, changes in your life. And it could be in your romantic life. It could be some changes that you need to communicate. All right, let's see what else we got for cancers. That came up pretty quick. Oh, you got uh, you got uh, the fishies card. You got new moon in new moon in Pisces. And overall energy, it's time to take action. Aries uh, is the sign of that, and this is Pisces. So you got for the energy, your energy right now is you like the moon god is like you know you may be um, you know knowing a lot of things that you're not speaking about, but you're advised to speak about it and meditate and and uh, meditate and contemplate on it you know go within about it <clears throat> and then speak about it then speak up about it like really go within about it like this is the high, like the high priestess you know going within maybe that is what you're doing leos see the moon goddess you know maybe you're following the moon uh all right, so this card shows an eternal spirit holding the bright reflection of the moon and standing in front of the crystal clear waters of the sparkling waterfalls. Uh, their arms are stretched, stretched out upwards to receive the light of the moon and inspiration. This card this card is all about intuition the ability to receive insight from your soul's point of view receiving this card I pray tells you that you have the power to get intuitive and in, intuitive information on all types of issues and now is the time to do to use it the moon the moon brings you all sorts of information from the 
boundings to the particulars. For instance, you can get the urgent the urgent to take the urge to take a different route a different route home from work and find out later that you have avoided a three you know a three hour traffic jam or you might even have might have an idea for great inventions or um This card could also indicate signifying blossoming, blossoming your psychic abilities and mediumship even on a professional level. For some of you, you might be readers. You're always blessed with the ability to connect with this card and telling you that now is the perfect time to open up. Get ready for the amazing inspiration this card brings. Wow. So open up to receive your intuition, you know. Let's see the new moon in Pisces. Let's read that card for Leo's. New moon in Pisces. All right. <clears throat> And you got the little fishies on these cards. I love these cards. And this card speaks of dreams and romance of a soulmate. And, a, and it suggests that there is a new start coming your way that is connected to a matter that leaves you feeling somewhat between having your head in the clouds and being totally alternate state this could be confusing and and disappointing if that if that what you had before and that what you're expecting however you're in you're on to a good thing then wish wish heard a wish heard because the words of your soul and your heart in your heart could help bring about a manifestation of oops of your dreams if if all the sounds a little wet and watery then that pisces that that's the pisces for you <laughs> the Pisces are very watery and very emotional. This is the last sign of the zodiacs, and the moon. And the moon Pisces card can suggest a la, a lust, tech, change to make your dream uh, like a like a last chance to make your dreams come true. Use your feelings to guide your way. Logic won't work right now. Logic won't work right now. Face your fears. They may be holding you back. This situation brings healing. Uh, this situation is being healed. It is time to surround, surrender to the divine. Can't own. Avoid being deceptive. And will woggly deceited don't be deceited be honest all right wow that was like huh that's a lot of reading and i don't have the proper light right now set up all right so we're done cancer why my brain's not working today it's my birthday tomorrow <clears throat> okay so we are done leo now we're on Virgo. All about taking action you know be bold and make the first move. That's what Gemini, Gemini got that card. Card number five. So changes are coming up in your life. Changes, but you need to detach yourself from certain situations maybe. Let's see what the card says. 
when I don't clarify them with tarot, then I just read the message in the in the in the card. So I'm just going to quickly show you the card, and then I'm going to just read it. So it's like remembering, thinking about something in the past, but feeling tied to something. You know, thinking about somebody, be feeling tied to where you are. All right. Attachment. Receiving need in the choice to let go. Upright, this card is a position that this card reveals that your you your message forward is bringing is being stuck. Your in this upright position, this card reveals that you that your passage forward is being stopped by strong attachment to an old pattern or people from the past the chain at your wrist is bolted bolted to fear from the past of this 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 or desperation about the future or deception about the future so you're afraid that the past is going to come back and just going to your future is going to be like your past that's what you're feeling like although you may wear the mask or present or even con contemplate your simply can't seem to go forward the stuff that's seeking your stuff could be physical a physical addiction or an emotional pattern emotional pattern or even an old relationship are you are you living in fear of addiction to an old unhealthy habit or so desperate about the future or so despaired about the future that you can't be happy now if so the chain that binds you could be your own making this card is talking uh, telling you that it is time to take action you need to break out of the chains and move forward to open to open free and healthy and authentically happy life if it may take some time makes Take some courage and effort to let go, but know that you're capable of doing it. Until you do, the difficult energy will will just repeat itself, keeping you stuck. So sometimes the energy that makes us feel stuck is not even our own energy. It's the energy and the people that we surround ourselves with. All right. So let's see, full moon and Aries. All right. So you got so Virgos, you got the full moon and Aries. So be you know be like an Aries, be like bold and go after what you want and stuff in your life. All right. So the full moon eclipse approaches and the full moon and Aries. It is time to see if you've been. A little bit too much me 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 there is a tug of war going on between you what you want and what someone else wants but you'll have to wait a little while to see what's going to happen next as you wait ask yourself if you've been handling the situation or at uh, as sensitively as you could have done if you know deep down that you've been a little rash or harsh going uh, going too fast or overall overstepped the mark the mark that ex that accept that that on some level that you have created the situation yourself for which means that you can create your own way out of it too when this card comes up it speaks of coming in it could be what's coming in could be fiery 
be nice, be kind, smile, and be polite as as you navigate towards where you want to be. Being assertive is good. Just don't ride rough shells over everyone. Don't ride rough shells over everyone. If you're in a tense situation, meditate your way to peace. Don't be don't be a baby. <laughs> Sorry, but that could be the issue. You need to be more fun. <laughs> you need to be more fun. Don't be a baby, okay? <laughs> Oh, that is so hilarious. It said that in the card. It was not me making it up. All right, Virgos. <laughs> oh. All right. Maybe sometimes when you let go a little bit, you have more fun. All right. Let's see what we got for Libras. What do we got for Libras? <laughs> oh, we got the door to romance, Libras. Door to romance. Time to make a decision. Time to choose where you want to do and where you want to go, Libras. Time to choose. You have romance. You have rom romance. The door to romance is opening for you. And let's see what moon card we got for Libra. Is, is nobody in the room? You guys can chat with me, you know. Oops. <laughs> if you're not following me on Facebook, then you can follow me now. All right, what do we got for Libras from the moon? What do we got for the Libras for the moon card? For this new moon. Libras for the new moon. Libras. All right. All right, we got Libras. Emotions are running high. You might be having a lot of feelings right now because that's what, you know, we're in Gemini moon and Gemini is all about feelings and uh, talking, you know, because we are so close to the cancer, to the cancer moon. And you got, it's time to take action. You got that Aries card, you know, it's time to take action. And you also got time to take action in your romantic life. Let's see the door to romance 33. Communicate what you feel. Communicate your feelings to someone that you're thinking about. Okay, Libras. All right, Libras. All right. Don't don't be in the cage with your love. Let it out. Let your love out. Make a choice. So new beginnings in love. Whenever you, whatever you are looking for a new love or re, new new relationship or just more love in your current relationship, you're in the this car in this door. In your this door with the heart opens into new beginnings in your experiences a new love may be arriving and you are brought together by a strong resonant connection this may be called from the past life or it may be a new tenderness about uh, blooming into your heart filled affection this relationship already if this relationship already exists and energetic potentials so when this card appears in your spread make sure you are projecting the kind of self loving energy that you want to receive from others be aware that the universe returns your self caring treatment to you and it, it it's ready to open the door. Are you? Are you ready? Open the door to self, to your own self. Why did my camera just went out? Am I getting kicked off? I don't know. Maybe you can only stream for so long. Anyways, that's what we got for Libras. Self-love attracts more and more love and tenderness to you. So self-love yourself, you know. And then we got the moon card. We got new moon in Aries, okay. We got new moon in Aries. 
Are we still on? Oh, no, we're still on. Okay. New Moon and Aries. be the first card all right it's time to take action the f the flame is lit a wonderful new start a wonderful new start in your own right track and you're on the right track drawing this card is a uh, Super ability, pause, super possibility sign if there is something you want to happen in your life. Take this card as a big yes from the universe. It, it is time to really tune into your dreams. You may still have a long way to go. After all, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, but you are on your way. Determine, determination, self-assertiveness, and bravery are called for. But the hot fire of Aries is driving you towards success in whatever and overall you're asking about. The caution, don't go too fast and forget your, and forget your manners. Treat people well as you charge forward your goals you you will create much better karma for yourself don't don't even think about giving up do your best and be happy with that and avoid being brushed right now uh, brushed avoid being brushed right now you need you need a 12 month plan a new male a new romantic uh, like a new person a new person is coming into your life hmm. there's a new person coming into your life libras all right i hope you enjoyed that reading libras all right next we got scorpios scorpio sun rising and venus we got for Scorpios. What do we got for Scorpios? Summarizing in Venus from the energy deck. What do we got for Scorpios? Strategy. We got strategy for Scorpio. And then you've been having a lot of anxiety about your, your, you know, you're trying to come up with a strategy. Maybe you're with a soulmate or a new beginning with a soulmate because I see the two people are a relationship or even because I see the two. And uh, you're really trying harder to manifest it. Libras. I mean, Libras. Why did I say Libras? I mean, Scorpios. All right, let's see what moon card we got for Scorpios. Summarizing in Venus for Scorpios. What card do we got for Scorpios? We got luck is on your side. An overall message. You got, you are good enough, Scorpios. Self-love makes you more attracted to what you want. All right, let's see strategy. Strategy 21. Card number 21. It may resonate with you for some of you. Someone rising in Venus, people. So we got a strategy, like coming up with a strategy. This card shows a pen and a journal and, comp and a compass. A comp compass like a compass and a key and a key when you receive this card upright it indicates that this is that there is the optimum optimum time for setting up a very specific strategy for achieving your goals write about write about the direct directions you want to go Consider any potential changes in your course that may be needed. Be aware of particular particulars regarding your goals and have 
some conclusion con con conscious plan in mind strategize the short-term goal needed to make your long-term reality this card tells you that you're to spend some time sitting and thinking in order it's time to take your sight on the road ahead so go forward and think about what you really want and be particular about what you want you know so we got the new moon in Sagittarius you lining up the arrow you know lining up the arrow to what you want you know so your luck is on your side with Sagittarius in your in your energy so so this is just it could be like you know part of your birth chart whatever uh, whether it is coming your way it, it it looks set to put a smile on your face a new moon in Sagittarius can mark the restart of a fun a fun after a period of feeling low energy low the energy the energy is the energy is adventurous and even willing to take a few risks but be careful you don't bend the bend the frame or something or something there is as there is a wheel of fortune still spinning this card is open this card is about exploring life met metaphysically by exchanging big ideas with others or just thinking about your own possible philosophical perhaps it is time to take to change your mind about something important it can also signal that a trip away is coming up is that something you're working on to achieve but the overall message of this card is whatever happens next will be some sort of gift even if it simply means that winding your world view like a different way of looking at things count your blessings literally write them down or say them out loud you need to you need to laugh more you need to be you this is a wonderful time to start a course of study or a teaching don't be narrow-minded start a week start a week of gratitude particular via Facebook or journal or blog <clears throat> beautiful card huh, I need another sip of my coffee that's what I got for Scorpio so I hope that helped your I hope that message helped you next we got Sagittarius all right what do we got for Saggies any Saggies in the house say hi don't be scared you know, fear is a, is only an illusion. Yin Yang, we got for we got for Sagittarius, we got Yin Yang. You got your balance, your Yin and your Yang. That is your energy. You're feeling very balanced in your, you know. And you are menaced. You are like the magician in the mirror. You know, you are like you know looking back on things and memories and and. Uh, you know, like manifesting things you want in your life. Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right, let's see what moon cards you got, Sagittarius. I never know where to look on the camera. <laughs> Most of the time, I'm looking at the cards, so it's hard to, like, there's a camera while I'm reading the cards. But let's see what we got for Saggies out there. We just want one card. Can we just have one card? All right. Well, I'm not reading the, the answers you're seeking is coming, okay? So, look at the bigger picture. 
I'm going to do it again because I got two cards, but that is the, the message there. Let's see, one card for Sagittarius. One card, and you got the Gemini card there. All right. What do we got for Sagis? One card, please. God, universe, spirit, guides of your highest good. What do Sagis need to hear? What do Sagis need to hear in this new moon in Gemini? New moon in Gemini. Expect powerful changes, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Set out, set out, step out of your comfort zone, Sagittarius. Expect powerful changes and yin yang. You got 22, which is also divine number 22. Is divine? 22. 22. Yin yang. 22. All right, let's read the card. Well, you guys know what this sign looks like, and it says yin yang. So that you can, you know, have your own thoughts on all of those things because everybody has their own way of thinking of yin yang. I think it's like a balance. No, positive and achieve positive achievements, intuition and logic. <clears throat> this card rep represents energetic energy energetic life cycles, and it is a purpose to to help your identity to particular cycle of energy moving into moving into or out of your ex experiences. It is upright, positioned. It is. It hurdles a yin cycle where most of the action seems to be happening under the surface of things. This is the time for a great. Uh, I can't say I can't say that word. Anyways, intuition uh, for great intuition and gestation, gestation, internal communi internal communication may be f forcing you to go within. <clears throat> And examine your present activity, such as especially a good time for completions or wrapping things up. The yin cycle often calls you to be positive, yielding, and reflecting. So open up to those sides of your nature. Being more than acting is like an intention here. The affirmation here is I am open to understanding the cycle I am I am as you saying I am I am I, I am willing to you know utilize its energy and beneficially all that I need is already part part of me so Make that inner, let yourself apply more forceful energy to the la to the task at hand and take advantage of this highly charged yang time. So yeah, use both of the energies that you got, the yin and the yang, and step out of your comfort zone, you know? Just because you're comfortable there doesn't mean that is where you belong. All right, Sagittarius, that's all I got for you for now. Let's see, Capricorns, what do we got for Capricorns? We got Capricorns, Aquarius, and Pisces left to do. All right, so Capricorns are next. What do we got for Capricorns, Summer Rising, and Venus? What do we got for Capricorns, Summer Rising, and Venus? We got hostility. <laughs> you may be dealing with someone that is like not very, uh, they're, they're very hostile. It could be like someone from the past, someone you had a relationship with, someone 
you know they could be heartbroken or you could be heartbroken you could be feeling heartbroken right now but someone's hostility hostilities hostilities it could be someone from the past because the six is there all right let's see what moon message we got for capricorn summer rising and venus i will clar i'll read clear read the cards Let's see what moon card we got for Capricorn summarizing in Venus for the new moon. All right, we got. Don't let your past hold you back. New romantic cycle begins, okay? So we're going to read the don't let your past hold you back. And you know that a new romantic cycle begins, so don't let your past hold you back, all right? So if your heart was broken in the past, don't let that hold you back, okay? If you found the one that's for you, then go forward. Don't let your past hold you back, all right? Let's see what about hostility. Hostility and deal with your past if you have to, you know? If there's still some things that are undealt with in your past, whether you have children, whatever, baby mama, baby daddy, whatever, deal with it, you know? Deal with what you have to deal with and let go of the rest. Let go and let God, you know? Trust in the divine. No reason for hostility. So hostility is defensiveness, so aggressive energy, this card shows a man rising raising his sword and so it could be any any energy it's just like the masculine energy but it could be female female male right so this card sword it resonates reading in oh in readiness to the battle and he's ready to he or she is ready for battle like ready to stand up for what they want and what they believe when it comes up in the right way up, it reveals a situation where where hostility towards you are about to be or have already been engaged in. So, yeah, you might have already experienced this in the past or you may have that coming up. There may be some people that that are not very happy with you or something in the past. This aggressive energy may be variable or emotional with someone in your environment. Being excessively critical and demanding of hurtful or hurtful. In a work of social situation, there may be backstabbing or out out and out slander going on so somebody could be like you know just really treating you like shit out there somebody could be just talking shit about you this is a this is different from the decay card because this hostility energy are more apparent more over averted in fact, you may have been living with them for some time, but whether this is a new or old energy, now is the time to regain control and allow this and allowing this dishonoring treatment from others is an open invitation to the universe to send you more so like uh, if you don't stand up and and, t and speak your truth or whatever then the universe can only send you things that you have experienced because that's all you're putting out there so put different energy out there capricorns if you it may feel risky but you need to have the courage to stand up for yourself now and always okay i am receiving you are receiving a peaceful harmonious treatment to deserve to deserve in life you set your boundaries make reasonable requests and make and make my and make your expectation clear the universe is supporting your own intentions self a shifting as well as whether this aggression action has ended 
due to external factor or your own environment and intervention. This card embodies will for more peace and harmony. Be aware, however, that there may still be some action you have to take and it may seem on the surface that things are slow and getting better slowly getting better this card encourages you to letting you know that the inner vibrations are changing and the situation will be restored so there you will have peace and harmony again all right let's that's that's what that card says so if you've been dealing with that i'm sorry for that so north node north node step out of your comfort zone oh wait that's that one don't let your past hold you back <coughs> capricorns don't let your past hold you back okay all right so you could be dealing, for some of you, you could be dealing with a Taurus. There's some um, Taurus in that chart. The North Node. This, this South Node. Oh, this is the South Node. Like the North Node, it is a karmic point, but it is positive. It is a positive, an opposite, an opposition, opposite. It is an opposite to the North Node. So that's like, the south yeah the south node is the opposite of the north node and relates to the past perhaps even to a past life whatever you are going through and whatever you are asking about there there is a change that that there's a chance that age age old permit Premonating and conditioning is stepping your from stopping you from achieving all all that you might all that you might want. Do not uh, do you feel stuck in something? This card will often come as a sign that the situation or relationship you are asking about has somehow become suffocating or even toxic or suggest that someone you eat or even you <clears throat> even you even need to be released that needs to be released that there are some kind of addiction or an unhealthy attachment that needs to be sorted out one one thing is for sure whenever you get this card you are being challenged to make some changes even if studying where you are feeling feels easier and safer safer the release of the past a relationship or is a karma uh, it a relationship is a karmic and and has played out across many time timeline lifetimes your attracts someone may your attraction may be varying on the obsessions that you have just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should all right i hope that message helped you all right let's see what we got but there's a new relationship coming so you need to release whatever is holding you back from your new relationship capricorns all right what do we got for aquarius we're almost done what do we got for aquarius summarizing in venus what do we got for aquarius Ooh, that came out pretty cool Ooh, you might have to work on your gut and your crown chakra Aquarius. You got the 30, 
communicate your divine purpose and your divine love, what you feel in your heart. See, you got uh, your mind, you got your spirit and your heart and your gut feeling. You got you go work on all of them, or maybe you are working on all of them. Maybe your physical side is catching up to your spiritual side a little more. That's the energy you're embodying. You're connecting with your higher self. Aquarius is good stuff. Good stuff, Aquarius. All right, let's see what the moon has to say for Aquarius. This moonology deck for Aquarius. This summer rising in Venus. For the new moon cycle. And this is really, reading is really timeless. These are oracle messages. This is like the second time I ever came on Facebook to do this. So new moon oracles. All right, you got work through your fears, Aquarius. And the bottom of the deck, you got it's time for healing. All right, you got 37. 37. All right, I'll show you the card. See where it's all like lit up? Your heart, your, your gut, and your crown. All right, the... So upright, the Archangel Samuel is holding a beautiful shape of golden light and the solar plex, which is the located location of <clears throat> of your third of your third chakra and the center of your life force energy. Yeah, this is where we get all our energy from is your your midsection, you know of desire and your personal energy when this card appears upright it indicates that an increase in that through the enthusiasm is presenting and soon to be on its way this card this is a great time to move for towards the competition of your desire your life force is vibrating with a powerful resonate resonate resonation and your soul is calling you to direct direct your energy and force and uh focus purposeful manner this angel of power is power power is with you this angel's power is with you now. So go for it. For as the assistance of Archangel Samuel to help you harness your power and spin this dynamic center of life force expressions greater and direct your life force energy and bring the situate this situation this attitude of enthusiasm to both your goals and your li your daily life may the third your third chakra is open to the perfect healthy state i rate you radiate bright and vibrant life force energy you feel enthusiasm enthusiasm for all that you do. Beautiful card for Aquarius. Alright, let's see what you got for the new moon in Scorpio. So there's some changes coming up in your life. Some beautiful changes. Like Scorpio is all about changes and transformations. And yeah, you have been transforming. transforming. Alright, so let's say new moon in Scorpio. <coughs> Give me the Scorpio. Scorpio. Alright. Work through your fears. Sag uh, Aquarius says. This card suggests a, a rebirth. Think of your situation as a phoenix that rises from the ashes. As a rebirth. Uh, as a, a birth. Death. Rebirth. And regenerate. This is what scorpio's energy is all about whether you have been through their through 
there's a new start ahead it might be a little dark it could also clearly won't certainly won't be a rainbow and unicorn won't be rainbows and unicorns but it will be deep in transformation this card also suggests that if you know you're you are a magician then this is the time to work your magic it can also hurdle the start of a sexier time if you've been experiencing something of a draw a a draw of emotions and and intimacy is also one of the on the menu scorpio this sign is is that likely to go deep into body mind and spirit so when this card comes up there is nothing superficial about what's coming your way time to let go of the grudges you're holding move forward move on from jealousy stop being obsessive could it be you are being pragmatic make make an investment wow that's beautiful scorpio yeah after reading 12 signs you kind of like you know you forget what sign you're on sometimes you know but when you're reading a card that resonates with you know it could resonate for some scorpios it's thou you know could be everybody could have some scorpio on their chart could resonate with them that's might have might be why i've said it all right let's see what do we got for pisces the door to value that was quick whether you should open the gate and go to the gate should i or should i not so it's like so it's so beautiful out there but i'm scared should i open that gate yeah you should open that gate see what's out there all right pisces let's see what you got you got the door to value you need to realize like figure out what you really value in your life what is the most important things in your life you know evaluate your life value evaluate your life where do you hold your value all right for pisces it's for pisces one card face for pisces summer rising in venus or the new moon energy all right we'll go with the we got two so fiery climb climax approaches moon moon and aries so there's a new start coming maybe in aries season but you got prosperity lies ahead okay so that's the card that we're going to read is prosperity lies ahead but we're going to read card number 31 first door to value door to value what you value in your life and so this card shows a door with a golden coin on it opening opening to a place that is filled with light and bright potential money coins jewelry and flying towards you through the open door revealing that golden city beyond all of those all of those point to the potential of the existing new beginning or ex or experiences where work or money or cons money are concerned perhaps a new opportunity is totally unexpected or perhaps that it's something you've been working working towards for quite some quite a while either way you keep your eye open for this new beginning to appear in your life now that anything you value may be open to you now remember conclusions and creative creative creativity and get you ready to step through the doors so your life is opening to endless possibilities and prosperity 
The river of abundance flows freely through through your door, bringing you all limited wealth and happiness. So you just got to keep your ears and eyes open, Pisces. All right. Last but not least, we got the message from the moon for Pisces. New moon in Taurus. New moon in Taurus. Let's see this card says. <clears throat> Prosperity lies ahead. So this card will often come up when you are inquiring about a financial matter. Wow, that ties in with the first card. In a financial matter or when you are doubting your self-worth. This card suggests that you have what you want, including material things, but you must believe in yourself. This comes down to the law of attraction value. Yourself, yourself and others will value you, you too. You can create abundance. Taurus associates with luxur luxurious, Venus and this card holds the new the moon energy see Venus is all about the feminine side so so the energy now is good time to make a 12 month financial plan this card can also signal that there's a start of a new relationship or a sexier time if you've been wrestling with something for a long time, the new moon is study. Study. Taurus is a sign of sign. The sign not to give up just yet. So, uh, so Tar Taurus is like kind of like laid back. They're like they could wait forever. They're like the turtle, you know. They they're so slow. Uh, get or give. A message of healthy body, mind. So you, so that the moon, like the moon will give you a good message if you're Pisces. You will soon be able to affirm the things that you are dreaming of. Getting clear on what you value must most will help you find peace. Take some time out of. Take some time out. Pamper yourself. Start a standing order to save an account no matter how small. I hope this message, these messages all helped you guys. And I hope you enjoyed them. If you guys enjoyed them, I will be doing them again. And if anybody would like to give me a birthday gift, I have an Amazon wish list that will be posted in the comments. So if, feel free or not it's all up to you god bless y'all and like share subscribe if you want to uh subscribe to my channel on youtube if you want to see more of me i do most of my readings on there so god bless everybody all right bye now